Hey guys, welcome back to Dragons at Arm Wrestling. Today we're going to be discussing another and the last arm wrestling fundamental. It's going to be side pressure, what it is, how to perform it, and how to train it. Okay, so side pressure, it's not something that we directly train on a regular, but there's a lot of, you know, we get a lot of, you know, comments about how to train it. We get questions at practice on a regular, how do they go about training it. The problem with side pressure is it is a, it can lead to a lot, of, it can be very injury prone. Um, so one of the, the, we kind of discussed what are like the rules that we would apply to it. Now in, in our case, and Cody will discuss it more, is that we train side pressure to be more rehabilitative. So we're focusing on the rep range, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, for high volume blood flow into the tendons that are actually building, that are actually responsible for side pressure. If you are somebody that wants to train side pressure, we've kind of decided that, on our side anyways, that don't train one RMs and you know one one RMs and one to threes, because that's it's just you you have a high probability of tearing tendons and any time that you pop a tendon that's going to put you back six nine months a year, so we kind of thought that that three to six if you're going to train strength and you don't want to do it for rehabilitative reasons, three to six is the zone that you're going to want to be in. Um, now an example of. Um, how to train side pressure. There's a variety of ways that you can get to it. And then I'll let you kind of be offside here. Um, you can use a strap, you can use a handle. It doesn't have to be a cone. It can be a flat handle. It can, you know, you can use the, the speed wrenches. You can use anything that allows you to get your hand here and work an angle. Now, if you're going, you can also work side pressure from the perspective of pronation so through thumb keeping your shoulders very square elbow in get your shoulder behind and then fly side you could do the same thing from um pro, uh supination you come in underneath here same thing fly side you're not trying to supinate when you do it because of the, you're gonna that's gonna be more working on supination this will be more about static hold so fly side the uh, last one that you can do using the strap, you can just create a loop, you can tie a loop. A lot like many of the other exercises is you're here and apply side. And I'll let Cody explain the other devices. And I feel like the strap for me is definitely the uh, best way that I've been able to do it. So I usually, if I'm trying to do rehab, I put it right there. I'll just go sideways with it, drop the loop. Really easy, just drop the loop over the thumb. Be right there. You can also do it over the pronator. So again, you go just drop the loop over the thumb, maintain pronation, go sideways, making sure that your arm is inside your shoulder. And then you'll know when you push it too far because that'll really start feeling like it wants to pull. And it is a really easy group down there to pop. I've popped it a couple times. It's very easy to pop. And then you can also just put it right here. And again, straight sideways. Yep. And then some people like to do uh, handles. So um, handle, you apply the exact same thing. You know, hand up, you can do hand down. Uh, honestly, it just depends on your device, what's more comfortable. And again, same thing, just go sideways. If you guys like this content, comment down below, like and subscribe, and see you guys on the next one.